This is a list of Foundation Universe planets featured or mentioned in the Robot series, Empire series, and Foundation series created by Isaac Asimov. Topic 61 Cygni The star system 61 Cygni, in the Sirius sector, is advanced by Lord Darwin as the potential site for a planet of origin for the human species. Lord Darwin cites Sol meaning Earth's Sun and three other planetary systems in the Sirius sector, along with Arcturus in the Arcturus sector, as potential original worlds. This fact seems to be contradicted by information given in Foundation and Earth. Claims were made as early as 1942 that 61 Cygni had a planetary system, though to date, none has been verified, and Asimov was aware of these claims. <laughs> Alpha Alpha is a fictional planet orbiting the larger of the two stars in the Alpha Centauri system. In Asimov's Foundation series, Alpha Centauri is cited by Lord Darwin as one of the solar systems where humankind potentially originated. The others are Sol, Sirius, 61 Cygni and Arcturus. Beyond mentioning that it is in the Sirius sector, Darwin gives no further details. In a later book, Foundation and Earth, Alpha is a planet orbiting the larger of the two stars in the Alpha Centauri system. Golan Trevise discovers Alpha when he attempts to find the location of Earth by locating the center of a best sphere made from the coordinates of the 50 spacer worlds. The planet is discovered to be entirely covered by an ocean, with the exception of a single island with a surface area of 15,000 square kilometers. For comparison, Sicily is just over 25,000 square kilometers. The inhabitants call it New Earth and live a simple lifestyle. While the inhabitants seem to be warm and welcoming, coexisting peacefully in an egalitarian society, this might be a show designed to put foreign visitors at ease while they were infected with a virus. The only certain facts about New Earth culture are that both women and men are completely shirtless, weather permitting, and the men engage in long sea voyages to fish. The planet Alpha was apparently terraformed habitable by the old galactic empire and its only land surface is the small island on which the Alphans live. This can be explained by its history. According to information pieced together by Yanov Polorat, the Galactic Empire, likely under Khan de V, labored to create land on which the last refugees of Earth could live. Then the funds and interest of the Empire ran out and the plans for continents were scrapped. Alpha was left alone for millennia, with only highly advanced weather control and biotechnology. Alpha first appears in Foundation and Earth, which confirms a merger between the Spacer and Foundation series. In the Spacer series, the planet Aurora in the Tau Ceti system is the first extrasolar colony, suggesting that Alpha Centauri had no habitable worlds. This fits with the late and expensive settlement of Alpha. Less easily understood is the belief in the early Foundation era that Alpha Centauri might have been the original solar system, a terraformed planet with a very small land area would not be plausible. However, as Alpha is depicted as being solely aquatic with the exception of its single island, it could feasibly have been a planet whose ice caps had melted, covering what might have originally been a larger landed area. 
Such would likely have been the reasoning of someone like Lord Darwin. This could just as easily be explained as it is in the series itself by the deterioration in standards of academic research in the late imperial era, since Lord Darwin explains that rather than going to places and gathering first-hand evidence, he prefers to pour through available archives from which by this stage much was missing. He refers to this as the scientific method. In addition, R. Daniel Olivar had sent agents to remove information about Earth from archives, although we don't know exactly when. Alpha and Sol were therefore not worlds Darwin knew by experience, but only by vague report. <laughs> Anacreon Anacreon, also known as Anacreon A2, is a planet near the outer end of the periphery and as part of the Galactic Empire was the capital of Anacreon Subprefecture, Anacreon Prefecture, and Anacreon Province and later the Anacreon Kingdom. Anacreon was a famous Greek poet. Topic: Arcturus Arcturus is one of the major planets. It seems to have been named for the star Arcturus in Boots. Topic: <laughs> Ascone. Ascone is one of the planets in the galactic periphery near Glyptal IV. Topic Esperta Mentioned by Mayor Indber in Foundation and Empire, as a planet to which the Foundation protested some sharp trade practices. Topic Aurora Aurora was the first world settled by the spaces, originally named New Earth. It is located in the Tau Ceti system, 3.7 parsecs, 12 light years from Earth. Aurora means dawn. Topic: <laughs> Baron A planet mentioned in Pebble in the Sky, as the birthplace of Bel Arvaden. <inaudible> Bond Mentioned by Mayor Indber in Foundation and Empire, one of the planets in the Foundation. Topic Kill Mentioned in Second Foundation. It lay on the normal trade route between Kalgan and Tazenda. Topic Sinna Mentioned in Prelude to Foundation. Dawes Venabili was supposedly from Cinna. The only known descriptions of Cinna come from Dawes, and since she was a robot that most likely had never been to Cinna, they may not be accurate. According to Dawes, Cinna is a small, unimportant world, where the amount of cloth in beachwear leaves very little to the imagination. Topic Comporellan Comporellan orbits the star that is known today as Epsilon Eridani. It is the oldest settler non world in the galaxy, as it was the first planet settled by Earth inhabitants during and after the events of Robots and Empire. 
It was originally known as Bailey World, named in honor of Elijah Bailey's son Bentley Bailey and later became known as Ben Borley World. This world is known to be very cold and puritanical. Most of the cities, including its capital, are underground. Mun Lee Kampoor's family were originally from this world and remembered the original name of its star, information which led Golan Trevise and Yanov Palorat to visit Kamporellan while searching for Earth. <laughs> Darabo. A former imperial prefect in the Anacreon province. It's mentioned in Foundation by Anselmo Roderick as a possible threat to Terminus independence from the recently formed kingdoms. <laughs> Daraud A planet mentioned by Dawes Venabili in Prelude to Foundation. On Daraud, promiscuous sexual activity was permitted without restraint even in public, providing traffic was not blocked. The idea was to allow people to live out all their fantasies, so they would be ready to settle down after marriage. After marriage, the concept of monogamy was absolute and unbroken. The practice stopped around 11,700 GE. Many associates of Dr. Venabili believed that this was from pressure by other planets, who lost a great deal of tourist business to Daraud. Earth. Earth has an alternate future history in the Foundation universe. Topic: <laughs> Aeos. Aeos is a barren and extremely cold planet, far from any human presence, where robots were repaired and maintained. Some of them, like the immortal R. Daniel Olivar, still visit it on rare occasions to recharge, and Dawes Venabili was among those constructed here. Daniel Olivar and Aryan Kansav established the robot production and repair facility, naming it for the old capital city of Aurora. In Greek mythology, Aeos was the titan of the dawn. Topic Erythro. Erythro is the moon of Megas, a gas giant in the novel Nemesis. In Greek, Erythro means red and Megas means large. Erythro features bacterial life, which forms a collective consciousness. Topic. Euterpe One of the Spacer Worlds. It was a popular tourist destination for the Spacers, because of its exceptionally large rainforests, Gladia Delmar visited with her husband. Euterpe has one satellite, Gemstone, with a radius of 120 km 75 miles. It is named after Euterpe, the muse of music. Topic: <inaudible> Florina. In the currents of space, Florina is the home of KYRT, a fiber-producing plant that grows only on Florina and which is woven into an extremely strong yet beautiful cloth. It is in practical serfdom to the planet Sark. Sark means shirt or dress in Scots. K-Y-R-T resembles the word kirtle, meaning a tunic or dress, a word also used in the mycogen sector of Tranta in Asimov's Prelude to Foundation, and Florina 
means little flower in more than one language. Topic Fomalhaut. A planet mentioned in the Empire series whose inhabitants speak an extreme dialect of galactic standard speech. Compare Fomalhaut, a star in the real universe whose name means mouth of the fish. The star and planet may have the same name, as is the case with Asimov's Gaia, or the planet may simply be nearby. Four kingdoms The Four Kingdoms was the name given to those portions of the former province of Anacreon which broke away from the Galactic Empire in the early years of the foundational era, to form independent and short-lived kingdoms. The largest and most powerful was Anacreon itself. The Four Kingdoms were the immediate neighbors of Terminus in the early years of the Foundation, during the time of Salva Hardin. As such they were located at the extreme edge of the periphery of the Empire. They rapidly descended into a «barbarous» state with petty nobles fighting meaningless wars, and technology declining to the point that knowledge of advanced nucleics was lost. Following the breakdown of wide-scale communications in the periphery, for a time the Four Kingdoms represented all of known space in regular contact with Terminus. Salva Hardin addressed the first Selden crisis though manipulating a balance of power. If any one of the four kingdoms conquered Terminus it would gain such a technological advantage over the other three that it would easily destroy them. Hardin therefore warned the other three kingdoms when Anacreon tried to establish a presence on Terminus, after which they joined in a coalition protesting Anacreon's move, after which Anacreonian forces withdrew rather than face all-out war. Eventually, Anacreon grew so powerful that even the other three kingdoms combined could not act as a deterrent against it, but by this point the science cult of the Foundation had spread so thoroughly in the four kingdoms that their own soldiers dared not attack Terminus. The four kingdoms were soon absorbed into the Foundation itself. In later generations the phrase Four Kingdoms remained as a physical term for that region of the galaxy, which in time became the core territories of the ever widening foundation sphere of influence. Hobber Mallow was himself from Smyrno, while Han Pritcher was born on Loris to Anacreonian parents. The campaign of General Bel Riose, representing the last gasp of the Galactic Empire, proved a dire threat to the Foundation's survival, and even managed to penetrate as far as the Four Kingdoms. At the campaign's high water mark, Riose even managed to capture Loris, but he was soon recalled to Tranta to be executed as a threat to Emperor Cleon II. Asimov did not give a consistent listing of all the four kingdoms. The encyclopedists and subsequent entries clearly state that Anacreon and Smyrno form two of the kingdoms, as they have recently been at war with each other. The encyclopedists also makes passing mention of the planets Conum and Darabo as possible threats to Terminus now that the periphery is collapsing, but these names are never mentioned again. By the Merchant Princes, however, Asimov mentions that one of the other kingdoms was Loris. In The General the text explicitly states that Loris was one of the original four kingdoms. 
The identity of the Fourth Kingdom, however, is not entirely clear. It is possible that Asimov originally intended Conum and Darabo to be the Third and Fourth Kingdoms, but later retconned the name of the Third to Loris. Alternatively, Conum and Darabo are only mentioned at the very beginning of the breakdown of authority in the periphery, before the Four Kingdoms become formally established after several decades. It is possible that alternatively Conum or Darabo was another petty kingdom which was quickly absorbed by one of the other four. It is also conceivable that the fourth kingdom bore a double name, Conum and Darabo. Gaia. <laughs> <laughs> Gaia is located in the Seychelles sector, about 10 parsecs 32 light years from Seychelles. It is featured prominently in Foundation and Earth. It is the origin world of the planetary intelligence known as Gaia. <laughs> Gamma Andromeda Gamma Andromeda is a star system in which a nuclear meltdown occurred in 50 Fe, in foundation by Isaac Asimov. The meltdown killed several million people and destroyed at least half the planet. It was caused by shoddy made replacement parts and ill-done repairs performed several decades before. Following the incident on Gamma Andromeda v, the Galactic Empire considered severely limiting the use of nuclear power. Given that the real star Gamma Andromeda, or Almec, is 350 light years from Earth, Asimov may have had this name in mind when writing this line. Getoran. Mentioned in Forward the Foundation. In the book, Hari Seldon attempted to convince Hugo Amaral to take a break from working on psychohistory and take a vacation on Getoran, a resort planet nearby near Tranta. It was probably part of the pre-imperial kingdom of Tranta. IV. <laughs> A planet in the Glyptal system in the galactic periphery. The Foundation was attempting to bring it into its religious sphere of influence roughly 20 years before the war with Coral. Limar Poniers happened to be on Glyptal IV in time to be sent to Ascone to rescue Eskel Garov. During this mission, Ascone began to be brought under the Foundation's influence. Glyptos in Greek means carving or engraving, as in hieroglyph. Monomers of Glyptal 1. Ethylene glycol 2. Phthalic acid <laughs> Haven Mentioned in Foundation and Empire it was one of the Association of Independent Trading Worlds, quasi-independent from the Foundation. It was the second planet in its star system, a barren world made primarily of uneroded rock formations. Most of the cities were in caves. One of these cities, Glyar City, was the site of an attempted landing by Foundation tax collectors. Torin Darrell, husband of Beta Darrell, was a native of Haven. The name, Haven, means, harbor. <laughs> Helicon Helicon is the name of the home planet of Hari Seldon, discoverer and developer of psychohistory. 
Helicon was small in population and not particularly rich in resources, and tended to be bullied by its more powerful neighbors. The name Helicon may come from a river and mountain in Greece. It was noted for martial arts called twisting in the Foundation universe. Hari Seldon claimed that the best twisters came from Helicon, although his objectivity is questionable. It may be covered primarily by land, as opposed to sea. Tobacco may be grown there, though the only evidence of this is Selden's father's supposed occupation, labeled by the Encyclopedia Galactica a legend of doubtful validity. In the 7th century of the 10th millennium of the Galactic Era, a large movement of Heliconians convinced themselves that Helicon was the only inhabited world in the galaxy, in a manner possibly alluding to the Flat Earth Society. Two indigenous species are known, the Lamech, a beast of burden, and the Greti, a dangerous animal. The names of these animals are most likely anagrams of camel and tiger, respectively. Further evidence can be inferred from local Helicon saying recited by Selden, If you ride a Greti, you find you can't get off, for then it will eat you. This saying bears uncanny resemblance to the well-known Chinese proverb, Kui Hu Nanchia. He who rides the tiger finds it difficult to dismount. Apart from Arcturus, it is the only known planet in the Arcturus sector. Topic: <laughs> Hesperos. A spacer planet in Robots and Empire and also in Mother Earth novelette. It was one of the original spacer worlds, the smallest and the furthest from Earth, settled by spacers from Faunus. Hesperos was the planet on which Vasilia Aeliana awaited the death of her father, Han Fastolf. It is named after Hesperos, the Greek god associated with the star Venus. Topic Horlega, the site of the mule's first victory against the Foundation. Topic IFNI. IFNI was the site of a battle during the Foundation's war with Calgan, with the exception of the FS. Ebeling Miz, all ships in the Foundation Squadron were destroyed. IFNI may be named after a small Spanish colony in North Africa, now part of Morocco. ISS <laughs> 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 A planet in Foundation and Empire. It was one of the Association of Independent Trading Worlds, which were quasi-independent from the Foundation. Together with Haven and Naman, it represented half of the military power of the traders. At the Radol Conference, ISS was represented by one Mangan. Genesec The traditional local rival, enemy of Helicon, as described in Prelude to Foundation by Hari Seldon. Calgan For most of the history of the Galactic Empire, Calgan was a semi-tropical resort world, 50 parsecs inward from Terminus, 7,000 parsecs from Haven and about 3,000 parsecs from Tranta. 
Despite the breakdown of the empire, Calgan continued its prosperity under the rule of a series of princes. Calgan was one of the first planets taken over by the mule in his string of conquests. After he defeated the Foundation, the mule made it the capital of his union of worlds. After the mule died, Calgan was ruled by a series of first citizens from Han Pritcher to Stettin. The last of these, emboldened by the legacy of the mule, launched a war against the Foundation. After the war ended in the defeat of Calgan, the Calganian navy was dismantled, and the 27 worlds remaining in the Union were allowed to vote for return to the Union, full independence, or entry into the Foundation Union. Conum A former imperial prefect in the Anacreon province. It's mentioned in Foundation by Anselmo Roderick as a possible threat to terminus independence from the recently formed kingdoms. Coral <inaudible> 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 Located after the Wassalian Rift relative to Terminus, Coral is the capital of the Republic of Coral, a union of worlds. Topic: <inaudible> Liber. Home planet of Dr. Selim Juns in the Currents of Space. Mentioned as a planet with some of the galaxy's darkest skinned people. The planet evidently takes its name from Liberia, a country in Africa, which would explain a dark skinned genetic inheritance. Its people have a dim memory of their ancestors having fled from persecution or defeat in battle, which causes Juns to feel sympathy with the oppressed Florinians. This might refer either to Liberia having been founded by freed slaves from America, or to some much later event in galactic history of which Asimov provides no further details. <inaudible> Livia Briefly mentioned in Foundation and Earth it was the home world of the scientist Humble Yarif, who attempted to find the location of Earth. <laughs> Locris Locris also spelled Loris was 20 parsecs 65 light years from terminus and 800 parsecs 2600 light years from Santani Locris exported wine which was noted for excellent quality Captain Han Pritcher was a native of Loris though born to Anacreonian parents Loris was briefly captured by the Empire during the campaigns of Bel Riose, and was the high water mark of his offensive. It is named after Locris, a region of ancient Greece. <laughs> Lioness Mentioned by Mare Indber in Foundation and Empire, forming a trade agreement with the Foundation. It was conquered by the Mule in 300 FE. The name comes from the mythical island of Lioness, off the coast of Cornwall. <laughs> Listina A planet on the outer edge of the galaxy mentioned in Forward the Foundation. Topic: <inaudible> Mandress. Mentioned in Foundation's Edge. 
It was in the inner provinces of the old Galactic Empire, to which Harla Brano served as an ambassador in her earlier years. Melpomenia The 19th Spacer world settled, mentioned in Foundation and Earth. It contained a large monument called the Hall of the Worlds, which contained a large room with the 50 Spacer worlds listed with coordinates on a wall inscribed with a table containing seven rows and seven columns with the last world, Solaria, appended to the bottom of the final column. Melpomenia was the origin point. Using data from these columns, translated by Yanov Palorat, Golan Travise was able to plot a course to Earth by assuming the original spacer worlds were distributed roughly spherically around the Earth. The planet itself, however, was rendered virtually uninhabitable by a radical climate change. The only life form able to survive it was a carbon dioxide feeding moss. Golan Travise had to use his blaster to melt away the alien substance on his ship, and the face plates on his and Pelorit's space suits. Only after bathing the rest of the ship in the UV rays of the sun did he leave the forsaken planet. It is presumably named for Melpomene, the muse of tragedy. Naman Mentioned in Foundation and Empire, one of the members of the Association of Independent Trading Worlds, quasi-independent from the Foundation. Together with Haven and ISs, it represented half of the traders' military capacity. It was represented at the Radol Conference by Oval Gree. Partway through the conference, Namon was attacked by the mule. Because of the tenacity of the traders, the mule would not have been successful if he had not had an atomic field depressor. This event pushed the traders into war, siding with the foundation against the mule. Namon was an additional name given by the Greeks to Artaxerxes II of Persia, and has been translated as pertaining to truth, but also pertaining to memory has been suggested. <laughs> Mores Mentioned by Mare Indber in Foundation and Empire, it completed a commercial treaty with the Foundation in 300 FE. Mores is Latin for «custom», in the sense of a custom so widely accepted as to be a law, and gives rise to the English word «moral». <laughs> Nebula kingdoms. The Nebula Kingdoms are a set of planets within or nearby the Horsehead Nebula. They are Lingain, Nephelos, Rhodia, and Tyran. Rhodia resembles the Greek name Rhodes, and Tyran reminds the reader of the terms tyrant and tyranny. Nephelos resembles the Hebrew term Nephilim, meaning the fallen. Topic Neotrentor Neotrentor, or New Tranta, became the de facto capital of the empire after Gilma sacked Tranta. The planet was originally called Delicus and became the capital of a rump empire, in which the emperor ruled over only twenty planets. Delicus and its attendant worlds consisted of a planetary granary for Tranta herself, which is only three parsecs distant, and whose primary is a bright star in the crowded skies of this province. Politically, it is ruled by a corrupt governor, George Comason. 
The last mentioned emperor of the galaxy, Dagobert IX and his son, the crown prince, died on this planet. It is stated that the dynasty lasted for about half a century. Neotrentor has a similar significance in the history of the Galactic Empire as Ravenna did for the remnant Roman Empire. <laughs> Nexon At two parsecs 6 light years from Solaria, it formed with Solaria the closest pair of spacer worlds. Solaria was settled from Nexon. <laughs> Nishaya Nishaya is mentioned in Forward the Foundation. It hadn't been part of the pre-imperial kingdom of Tranta until the creation of the empire itself. At the end of the empire it was noted for its goat herding and high-quality cheeses. Laskan Joranum pretended to be from Nishaya during his campaign to overthrow Eto de Merzel. What gave him away to Hari Seldon was his perfect mastery of the Trantorian dialect. Real Nishaeans spoke a very different dialect of galactic standard. Topic: <laughs> Ophiuchus A barbarous world once thought to have developed before hyperspatial travel. The constellation of Ophiuchus, the serpent bearer, may be the source of the world's name, or it may lie in this constellation, as seen from Earth. Topic <laughs> Orsha II. A system in the Normanic sector of the Galactic Empire, mentioned in Foundation. The inhabited planet is Orsha II, the second planet of the system. The capital of the Normanic sector was originally Siwena, 20 parsecs, or 65 light years, away, but after the first Siwenian rebellion, it was moved to Orsha II. <laughs> Palace Spacer world infamous for its custom of dyeing facial hair, Santyrix Gremionis loathed the practice. Pallas is, of course, the epithet of the Greek goddess Athena. <laughs> Radol A world tidally locked to its star, a ribbon world. Inhabited by merchant spacers known as traders during the era of foundation and empire. Its houses and gardens were built to face the motionless morning sun, while a short distance away there was everlasting night. Asimov wrote this at a time when Mercury was assumed to turn one face always to the sun. Topic Rampura, famous for its oysters. Topic Ria, one of the fifty spacer worlds. Ria is one of the two largest planets in the galactic south. In Greek mythology, Rhea was wife to Cronus. Topic: <inaudible> Rhodia. One of the main planets of the Horsehead Nebula in the stars, like dust. Ruled by a directorate under Tyrannian control, its director Hinrik is a leader of the rebellion.
Topic: Rigel. A planet in the Empire series. In the first millennium of the galactic era, its inhabitants developed a robotic culture. Because this made Rigelians so passive, they were easy prey for the warlord Murray. Thus, Rigel's fate resembled that of the Spacer worlds. Its name may come from the name of the star, Rigel. Rossum During the days of the Galactic Empire, it was used as a political prison, and housed a small naval garrison and an observatory second foundation. After the fall of the Empire, it was conquered by the Oligarchy of Tazenda which levied taxes to be paid in foodstuffs, brought to the village of Gentry where the governor lived. Gentry refers to an upper class. During his search for the second foundation, the mule soldiers, Bale Chanis and Han Pritcher, came to Rossum. The mule, meanwhile, destroyed Tazenda, assuming it was the second foundation. He assumed incorrectly, and was defeated by the first speaker of the Second Foundation. Rossum was exceptionally cold, and was thus barren with a low population, exclusively in the equatorial regions. It may be loosely based on Russia in Tsarist times, which Asimov's family came from, or even specifically Siberia. The name is clearly similar to Russia, especially in Russian, Rossia, though also reminiscent of Rossum, the eponymous creator of robots in the play RUR. <laughs> Salon The first planet to be aware of the mule's advance on the foundation. Topic <inaudible> Santani. Santani is 9,000 parsecs, 29,000 light years from Tranta, and 800 parsecs, 2,600 light years from Locris. In 12,058 GE the population of Santani attempted to rebel against the Galactic Empire. Rach Selden, son of psychohistorian Hari Selden, was killed in the rebellion, valiantly defending the University of Santani. After the founding of the foundation, Santani traded with it until the trade route was cut off by the rebellion of Anacreon. One thing known to have been made on Santani was the cigar box possessed by George Farah, and later by Salva Hardin. It was captured in the early stages of the war with Calgan. After the death of the mule, Santani was instrumental in breaking the siege on Terminus levied by the mule's successor, Han Pritcher in 308 FE. Topic Sarip Sarip is a planet near Anacreon. Topic Sark In the currents of space, Sark rules over Florina and controls the galactic trade of the cloth KYRT. Possibly named after the island in the English Channel. Topic <inaudible> Seychelles. <inaudible> At the time of the novel Foundation's Edge, Seychelles was capital of the 86 worlds in the Seychelles Union. It was notable for never having been conquered by either the Mule or the Galactic Empire, or the Foundation. 
The inhabitants of Seychelles at that time are somewhat reminiscent of a modern middle class India. Ornamental script, possibly a reference to Brahmi, brightly colourful clothing, spicy vegetarian food, meditation as a common activity. As the Seychelles Islands on Earth are in the Indian Ocean and have both Indian and African populations, this name is presumably a reference to the origin of the planet's people and culture. For many years, it was also the home of his friend, fellow science fiction author Arthur C. Clarke. Sirius. The Sirius system was a capital of the Sirius sector, and one of the planets advanced by some late galactic era archaeologists as the planet of origin for the human species. Between 800 and 900 GE, a planet in the Sirius system was one of the ten most populated planets in the galaxy. The name clearly comes from the star Sirius. Topic Siwena. Siwena was capital of the Normanic sector of the Galactic Empire and once one of its richest planets. It was the home of Onam Bar and his son Dusam Bar. Siwena is a conventional transcription, but not the only one, of the ancient Egyptian name for Shiva Oasis, which was, because of its remoteness from the Nile, at several times in history considered as the very limit of Egyptian influence, as Siwena is of the empire. Topic <laughs> Smithius. One of the fifty spacer worlds, noted in the Robots of Dawn. Topic <laughs> Smushik. A planet mentioned in Second Foundation, located in the galactic periphery. Topic. Smyrno Located in the Anacreon province, it was one of four prefects in the Anacreon province that rebelled against the Galactic Empire c. 50 FE. The planet itself is located 50 parsecs 163 light -years from Terminus. Its name is a parallel with Smyrna, an important city of the Roman Empire in Anatolia. Smyrna is hot and dry, the rooms smell of sulfur, and people live underground. Its most famous citizen is Hobber Mallow, one of the major characters from the Foundation series. Solaria Solaria was the last of the fifty worlds to be colonized by the spaces, settled in approximately 4270 AD by inhabitants of the neighboring world Nexon originally for summer homes. Synax. The birthplace of Gal Dornick, it was in a stellar system orbiting a region called the Blue Drift, which is on the trailing arm of the galaxy. Travel to Tranta is expensive, thanks to its relative position to the galactic black hole. In this way it is similar to Hari Seldon's homeworld of Helicon. Synax's system contains an asteroid field, as well as a set of gas giants. Tazenda 
Tazenda is an oligarchy of 27 planets which stayed out of interstellar politics. It was considered by the Mule to be the home of the Second Foundation because of its location 120 radial degrees from Terminus, its location in a constellation visible from Tranta giving it the name, Star's End, and its name sounding similar to, Star's End. It was attacked and destroyed by the Mule in 315 FE. It was not, in fact, the location of the second foundation. Topic: <laughs> Terrell. One of the Association of Independent Trading Worlds had a minor victory against the Mule. Topic. Terminus Terminus is the capital planet of the First Foundation. The planet is the only rocky planet to orbit its isolated star. The capital of Terminus is Terminus City, home of Cyclopedia Square. Terminus God was the Roman god of boundary stones and mileposts, and thus the name is appropriate. Topic Tranta. Tranta is in the center of the habitable part of the galaxy. Topic Vega. It was capital of the Vega province in the Galactic Empire, one of the wealthiest provinces in the entire galaxy. Until the revolt of the Anacreon prefect, it traded with Terminus, capital of the foundation. One of the known quantities it exported was tobacco, of notably high quality. Its name comes from that of the star Vega, or Alpha Lyri. Mentioned in Second Foundation, it lay on the standard trade route between Calgon and Tazenda. Topic <laughs> Voreg, a planet in the Anacreon prefect, close to the capital system Anacreon. Topic Wanda. The temporary headquarters for the Navy of Bel Riose, General of the Galactic Empire, during the war between the Empire and the Foundation. Dusum Bar and Lathan Devers were kept in a prison on Wanda during this war, and Devers' ship was impounded there also. Topic Wenkeri, home planet of Las Zeno, twelve thousand and eight, chief librarian of the Library of Tranta. Zeno returned to Wenkeri when he retired. Mentioned in Forward the Foundation. Topic Zoranal. To this barren world the members of the Second Foundation captured on Terminus were exiled to die. 